What's going on, if you're Max Forte? On this channel, you know I don't discriminate. I talk about high-end, we talk about niche, indie, designers, cheapies. If it's good, I'm sharing it with you guys. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about a collection that's been getting a lot of limelight on YouTube and within the fragrance community. If you guys wanna know the reason why, then stick around. I'm gonna go over the whole collection in this video coming up next. Welcome back to another fragrance review or first impressions in this case. My name is Max Forte. If you love to make a great first impression, you know that smelling good is definitely a great way to start. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the whole Central Blends collection from Azaro. Now, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Azaro. If you guys don't know it, you'll know it now. Uh, we're talking about vintage stuff right here. To me, this is like the king, you know, quintessential Bass Fougere slash barbershop feel scent ever made, released back in 1978. This is a vintage bottle from the early 80s. I also have, actually this is from the early 90s. I have the thicker base ones with the with the smaller caps that are from the 80s. I actually have a lot of those in stock, not in stock, in my personal collection. And here's one that I absolutely adore. It's actually a reformulated version, but actually still good. So if you don't want something that's very pungent and dark and in your face, Fougere, you wanted something a little bit more toned down, Reformulations up to, I think, early 2000s and, you know, 2010, up to 2010 are pretty good. Anything above 2012 is going to be very lackluster and very um, thin and light and very neutered. This one here, I believe, is from 2005, which is actually a quite good one. Happy to have this in my collection because it gives me a chance to kind of like see what the fragrance, you know, how it transitioned over the years from being a really powerhouse fougere to like a really light uh, more mass appealing Fougere, but still very strong and very powerful. But I digress, let's talk about Central Blends. This is a blend that was originally released in 2019. They released three fragrances last year, which were Naughty Leather, Hot Pepper, and Amber Fever. I didn't have a chance to, to get these because they were only available in Europe. I was able to, to get Naughty Leather, which I actually reviewed for you guys, and I'll have it linked up here so you guys can check it out. I'll also link in the description. And the latest one that I reviewed that I was blown away by was Wild Mint, which I really, really loved. And again, I'll have the link here and in the description so you guys can check it out as well. But today we're going to do a first impression on Hot Pepper Ginger Lovers, which is getting a lot of limelight, a lot of talks, and Amber Fever. I'm going to give you guys a quick thought on how I think the fragrance smells like, if it reminds me of anything, you know, so forth and so on. And of course, if you guys want to see a full review on any of these, just comment down below. In fact, if you guys want to see me to do, I'm going to do this for you guys. If you want me to do a GBU, a good, bad, ugly, underrated, and overrated from the whole house of Azaro Port Ohm, which I think I have all the Port Ohms ever made, ever released, I'll be happy to do that for you. All you need to do for me is make sure this video hits 2,000 likes or more. If you guys don't want to see a GBU on Azaro, that's fine. If this video hits at least 1,000 likes, I will do the, the, the review on all three fragrances that I have not yet reviewed for you guys. So it's up to you guys. You want to see the reviews? You want to see the GBU? Show the support. One thing I wanted to share with you guys, which is actually a nice feature that they have with these, these collections, you know, with this Azaro Central Blends collection, is that the actual sprayer atomizer is unscrewable. You can actually unscrew these, which I had no idea I actually found out by accident. I wanted to share with you guys. So if you wanted to use like a pipette and transfer the contents to a decant atomizer, you can do it very easily. So this is a really cool feature that they added with these new, new bottles. The sprayers are actually the sprays are actually pretty good as well. So really content with the presentation, the overall aesthetics of the bottle, which is kind of like very similar to the original. Obviously it's a flanker, so you do have a little bit of a fougere characteristic in each one of these fragrances. Some more prominent, others less, but overall from the leather that I've tried and the wild mint, these are actually really nice blends. So let's, the reason why you guys clicked, let's talk about first impression on these three babies right here. Let's go. All right, let me start off with hot pepper, which is one that I was really curious about when I first looked. Again, I'm not looking at notes. I'm not going to go crazy here. I'm not gonna to talk too much about these. It's basically first impression, just to give you guys a quick you know, thought on what do I think about these. And again, if you guys do wanna see the reviews, be sure to show your support. So Hot Pepper has this uh, purple-like you know, look to the box. And just to let you guys know, on the back you have an actual picture of the actual bottle itself. Love the presentation. Again, I'm going to say that over and over again. You're probably going to get sick of me saying that. Love the very masculine, rugged, you know, square-like, you know, feel that you get here. The gradient from dark purple to light. 
Love that stuff. So let's figure out what we get here. And again, guys, if you want to see my thoughts on Naughty Leather and Wild Mint, I've reviewed them for you guys. You guys feel free to check out those two reviews. But today, just the first impression of these three new ones, new acquisitions to my collection. So hot pepper. These are nice, guys. You know, from all the ones that I've tried on the first spray, it is very mass appealing. And you always, I mean, hot pepper, I can feel that fougere-like feel again in the background, that original Zaro feel. But then it's enveloped by these new facets of Oriental. Like from hot pepper, for example, off the bat here, it reminds me of a few things from the designer realm of things. But very subdued. It's a little bit, you know, refreshing. Perhaps there's like geranium here or even like a mint accord going on. I don't know if it's listed in, in, as a note, but I do get like a vetiver action here as well. Like a juicy, fruity vetiver. It's very, very appealing, guys. Um, there's some components here, some facets that are very similar to other fragrances. But again, when I do the full review, I'll, I'll let you guys know exactly what I get because I obviously have to spend time with the fragrance, you know, as far as longevity, projection, all that good stuff. But I think it's going to be a good performing one. On average, with these two, I get about seven plus hours, which is really not bad. Um, so I get a little bit of an incense vibe here in the background. There's definitely juniper berries. Like I said, I get the very airy, refreshing kind of a vibe here. There's perhaps geranium. I also get like a vetiver feel to the scent. You're obviously going to have that spicy component, probably like chili pepper or pink pepper or Sichuan pepper or peppers, any kind of peppers. There's definitely like a, a hot, spicy feel to the scent. Not overly spicy, though. Quite subdued, very well blended. As it dries down, it gets more familiar to something that I am familiar with, but I can't pinpoint, I can't put my finger on it right off the bat. But overall, really nice. If I have to, well, I have, I'll leave the comparisons to the end, but right now, really happy with Hot Pepper. Really, really good one. And again, with this whole collection, I think I'm not going to regret any of these purchases because you can find these readily available right now at this counters for a ridiculously low price, which I'll share with you guys in just a minute. So let's dive into Amber Fever. All right, let's get into Amber Fever. Now, Amber Fever, you're gonna have this goldish, not golden, it's actually bronze, like an orange bronze kind of a case. And again, they're all the same, just the color scheme is going to change. In the back, again, you're gonna have the picture of the bottle itself. Uh, really enjoy this one, I think it's really beautiful. It's like one of my favorite ones. I do enjoy bronze, I think it's a cool color, very warm color. So Amber is a note that I, truly enjoy in fragrances like Amber Absolute, um, Sultan, Sultan Umbra, which I think is one from um, Serge Luton. So I'm a very, very big fan of Amber Notes. So this is one that I was very initially uh, excited to get when I first heard about this collection. It took a while for me to be able to find, I was able to find a tester, but I, w I wasn't really excited about the tester because I didn't have a cap. So I was waiting for the full presentation. Here it is. So first thoughts on Wow, the opening here is really nice, guys. It, it gives me like a boozy effect. This really nice, sensual, warm, cinnamon, boozy amber. Again, similarities to other designer fragrances that I've tried. There's a lot of different um, facets here that I'm getting that are similar to other fragrances. And when I spend more time with these fragrances to do the full review, if you guys want me to, I'll definitely be able to let you guys know what it smells like, what it reminds me of, and so forth and so on. But off the paper here, the blotter, first, first initial thoughts, this is a good amber. It's spicy, it's perhaps patchouli here, there's cinnamon, there's this cocoa patchouli going on, the sweet amber, you know, floating throughout the scent. Really nice, really inviting. I love the cinnamon here, guys. It's really, really, really nice. There's perhaps tonka bean in here, which is really adding the sweetness to the scent. I do get the cinnamon, perhaps vanilla or benzoin, and with all these fragrances, I with all of them, guys, this is no different. I'm getting this really nice, airy, refreshing, geranium minty kind of a vibe. Of course, Wild Mint had the most prominent vibe with that. There's also lavender here. I'm getting some lavender that's coming to the forefront. Again, all of these have this refreshing vibe to them. And all of these, talking about first, you know, first blast, first impression, and they all have this fougere barbershop feel in the background that I'm sure they're borrowing from, from the first one, hence the fact that it is, these are all flankers to the original Azara Poron, which is a, you know, quintessential barbershop. So all of these will have, you know, little facets of barbershop scent, and then they're going to add their own little, you know, nuances. So this one here, really cool, guys. Love the cinnamon. Love the amber, of course. The amber is a star player here with that lavender and that beautiful spicy cocoa patchouli. There's definitely a cocoa vibe in here as well. 
not crazy up front, heavy like a Dior Home Intense Cocoa, but it's definitely here. So these are good, good quality, good stuff. Really looking forward to diving into, you know, checking these fragrances on skin and wearing them out and, and seeing what I get out of them overall. Let's get into the last one here, Ginger Love. I'm a huge fan on Ginger. There's a lot of reviews on this one out there. A lot of people um, really uh, taking a liking to this one. Ginger is one of my favorite notes in, in perfumer, like sub notes, you know, like top notes, you know, so I think I'm going to be really happy with this purchase. I hope so anyway. So let's get into this last one here, which is Ginger Lover. Let's see if the ginger is going to be prominent, if it's going to be spicy. Let's see what we get out of this one, guys. Wow. Okay, so this one here from all three has the most mass appealing feel, if you will. It reminds me of blue fragrances like your Blue de Chanel's, your Dior Sauvages. It's not a clone of those fragrances. Even though it's called Ginger Lover, it gives me a blue nuance right off the bat. You know, Yves Saint Laurent, why? It's gonna have that really big blue feel that we were accustomed to over the past, you know, few years. Past 10 years almost now. You know, Blue de Chanel being like the, the top blue scent, the king blue, whatever you want to call it. And in 2015, we had Dior Sauvage. This one here is really nice and blue, but it has that beautiful spicy ginger up top. And I think that ginger is going to ride the scent throughout the life of the scent because it's really prominent. adds this really... I think Blue de Chanel has ginger in the note as well. Ginger, mint. So this is probably going to have all those components, but the ginger here is amplified, which is really making this very beautiful. I love this ginger, guys. Really, all I can say is these are good quality. Just a quick correction here, guys. So the first release, the first three, Amber, Leather, and Pepper, were actually released fall in Europe, 2018. But we didn't get them here in America until maybe early 2019. That's why I said 2019. And then the last two, Mint and the Ginger, were released late last year, 2019, and we got them here early 2020. So, you know, anyway, you look at it, 2018, 2019, 2019, 2020. But these are all the, the, the five flankers to the original Pouron in the Central Blends collection. So, yeah, Ginger is a very nice one. But again, the most mass appealing of all of these. Uh, the most common smell, if you will, that blue kind of genre that's really overly done these days. But I do enjoy the Ginger here. It's done very well, very spicy, up front and tenor. And I, like I said, I think the Ginger is going to be really riding the scent from beginning to end. I also get... Really nice vetiver in here, like a juicy, fruity vetiver, along with a big note of cardamom on Ginger Lover as well, which I, I truly love cardamom. So definitely a winner in my book. So overall assessment on these guys, especially these first three that I just tried for the first time. Again, these two you can see the reviews on. Really solid compositions. If I had to maybe pick my favorite on a first impression standpoint, I would say Amber is my favorite. Um, ginger is the second with the pepper very close third just so you guys know I'm gonna have the links to these fragrances down in the description they are readily available at your favorite discount website at this point of course I'm gonna recommend you guys check them out at my partner fragrance which has been my favorite you know discount website for the past three plus years uh, fast shipping great customer service great pricing you can't beat it guys go check it out an amazing selection of designers cheapies like this upscale you know high-end niche or designer indie fragrances they got them all guys i'm gonna have all the information below so you guys can check it out and of course my final thoughts this is a good collection guys if you're getting into the fragrance world if you're you know looking for cheapies but goodies these are definitely going to do the job they're going to be something for everyone in here whether you like leather whether you like a minty scent amber scent whatever these are really well blended, and I think it's definitely worth checking out, especially for the price point. You can't go wrong. I think the overall proposition here, the smell, the performance, I don't know much about these three as far as performance, but what I can say based on the two that I've tried, these are great scents for the price. You just can't go wrong. Now, of course, guys, if you want to see my GBU and the whole house of its Zara Port Ohm collection, you know, all the different flankers ever released, please, you guys know what to do. Show your support. Leave the like. I see you guys, you know, over 68% of you guys not subscribed to the channel yet. Come on, go ahead, hit the like button. Doesn't cost anything. You don't even have to stop the video. You can just slide your finger there. You're gonna do me a great favor. I appreciate the support. And of course, I'll give you guys what you like. If you guys wanna see this stuff, you know what to do. Hit the like button, and I'll come back with the other videos that I promised. And as always, guys, you know it. Fragrance is emotion to motion. It's an extension of your character. It's an extension of who you are. So be sure to wear what truly moves you. I'll see you again real soon. Take care.